Greetings and salutations. Now, I'm actually going over scavenger armor. Oh my god. Uh, probably should be going over some of my more viewed builds because of the, some of the changes. Some of them have ixnay on the playway. Um, however, scavenger is something that's been buffed and it's actually looking pretty damn viable. There are a few circumstances where it's I don't want to say best in slot, but it's a very good option to go because you can basically give yourself infinite healing, not immortality, but you can heal a lot, as well as just generally take up a shite ton of buffs. Um, it's pretty good at going through dungeon crawling as long as you go around looting everything, which I'm pretty sure most people will be doing. But in boss fights, it's lacking unless you're going to go for something like Ixalis, where all of that ammo is constantly spawning. You basically can have infinite healing and infinite buff on it. It's not the greatest buff going, but it's certainly a buff that works. So, scavenger armor, obviously. I'm using machine pistol with swarm because I, you need a lot of high fire rate on this or something that hits really, really, really hard. Problem being, if you're going to go for something that hits really, really hard, you're going to want to go with a different armor set. Beam rifle and machine pistol do make quite good work with this. And the reason I've gone for those two is not only they high DPS values, they also have interchangeable mod slots. Go with what you would like. However, I suggest going with things that are pretty damn damage dealing. So I've gone with Swarm and Unstable Quill. I've gone with Unstable Quill on the primary, or the long gun, I call it. We really should call it. The primary is technically the pistol. Weird. But on the long gun, just because I'm able to constantly generate and then fire off that mod. I was originally using Cold Spear, which worked quite well, but I don't know, just wasn't really getting a lot of impact from it. For jewelry, using Gunslinger Charm, Scavenger's Ring and Spirit Stone. Spirit Stone's really handy to get a little bit more oomph out of the mods as well as build up mod generation because you will be using them a lot with this build because the armor just doesn't really give you a lot. It's kind of weird. It just doesn't feel like you're doing good oomph. It's bad oomph. There's not a lot coming from it, but it's definitely viable and very survivable just because by open up a chest and you basically go back to full health, it's weird. With the Gunslinger Charm, I'm using that as just general utility. If you want to change any of my builds up, particularly this one, then just play around with it. But I'm just basically trying to let you guys know that Scavenger Armor is no longer as bad as it was. It is viable for certain situations, dungeon crawling, as well as certain boss fights like Ixlis, where there's just a crap ton of for you to pick up all the time. It is handy. But in the meantime, have fun, good luck, and don't die.